If you want to turn your garden from lifeless dirt into rich, thriving soil, you need to bring in some help from nature's best soil engineers. Earthworms. These little guys loosen up hard ground, boost drainage, break down organic matter, and leave behind castings that feed your plants way better than any store-bought fertilizer. But the real question is, how do you get more earthworms in your garden without buying worm bins or digging them up by the handful? Here's the secret. Alfalfa pellets. Alfalfa pellets might look humble, they're usually found in livestock feed aisles, but they're a game changer for gardeners. Super easy to use, totally safe for raised beds, and hands down one of the best natural ways to build living soil. Let me show you how to use them to turn your dirt into earthworm paradise. So why do worms go crazy for alfalfa pellets? It's not just the nutrients, though there's plenty of those. When you soak and partly bury alfalfa pellets, they start to break down, and that's what really gets things moving. Bacteria and fungi show up to feast, and as they multiply, they release signals, little chemical cues that tell earthworms, Hey, dinner's ready. Worms aren't after raw, dry stuff. They follow the microbe party, and alfalfa is their VIP invitation. Here's the trick. Before you put alfalfa pellets in your soil, soak them in warm, dechlorinated water. This softens the pellets so they break down faster and don't clump up in your beds. After a couple of hours, they turn into a mushy, earthy mix that microbes and later worms just can't resist. Trust me, don't skip this step. Now where do you put them? Loosen up the top two or three inches of soil. Just use a garden fork or even your hands if you like getting dirty. Tuck your soaked pellets right into those spaces or dig a shallow trench, drop them in, and cover with soil or mulch. If you mulch, and you really should, put the alfalfa right underneath. It stays moist longer, keeps the microbes happy, and gives worms a safe place to chow down. Don't forget the water. After adding the pellets, give the area a deep, slow soak. Moisture is key here. It helps break down the alfalfa, boosts microbial activity, and tells worms it's time to move in. If you're gardening in a dry spot, water every few days to keep things going. Dry pellets and dry soil won't attract worms, but steady moisture does wonders. Give it a week or two, and you'll see real changes. Your soil will loosen up, you'll spot little tunnels, and those classic worm castings like tiny coffee grounds will show up on the surface. The cycle keeps feeding itself, especially if you add a few more pellets every month or so. Alfalfa beats kitchen scraps and raw manure for one big reason. It's clean, odorless, pest-free, and it won't burn your plants. Plus, it's packed with nutrients that feed both worms and your garden. As the worms eat, they enrich the soil, help roots grow deeper, and make your plants more resilient. There's no faster way to build healthy soil from scratch. So, if you want to bring your garden back to life, grab some alfalfa pellets, soak them, and let the worms do the hard work for you. If this helped you out, hit subscribe for more tips from Hydro Haven, share with your garden buddies, and tell me how it goes in your own soil. Remember, the best soil isn't bought, it's built, one worm at a time.